Um, Joanna, so lovely to chat with you. How are you? How, how's it going? It's really warm weather at the moment, isn't it? It is. Um, and I, I, my house gets hotter during the day because I'm in the south facing garden. Oh, wow. And uh, so I'm in the office and as the sun comes over, I just get warmer and warmer. But I, I mean, I don't mind the heat. I just prefer it if I'm by a pool with a glass <laughs> of something in my hand. <laughs> yeah, holding a glass of wine or something, sangria in your hand. Yes. Um, but anyway, it's lovely weather. We mustn't complain. Must no, we? not at all. Not at all. Glorious weather at the moment. So anyway, thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview. It is a pleasure because we haven't actually known each other for very, very long. Um, no. And it's really, really fantastic that you've uh, agreed to do this interview. So um, I just want to ask you a couple of questions so that uh, the people who are watching the video can get to know you. So can you just tell me who you are, what you do, um, a little bit about you personally, a little bit about your business, uh, so people can get to know you? OK, well, um, I've actually come to you as Joanna Cates, the author. Um, I during lockdown last year, I wrote my first debut romance novel called Love is Crystal Clear. And um, I'm an accountant by trade. Um, I'm self-employed and employed. I work for my husband's firm and then I've got a small private um, clients practice and uh, once I started writing the book, I realised that I'm in the wrong place in my my job. I really want to be doing something more creative. So um, I started networking um, and this is how I'm here today. I'm married. I've got four lovely children, all between the ages of soon to be 18 and 21 so it's um <laughs> it's a bit chaos at home sometimes um and that's about it really from a personal point of view uh apart from book two um which is the second book in the trilogy is due to be released in august how exciting how absolutely exciting um and why why did you how did you start to be an author and change from being an accountant which is just you know like totally different isn't it well I think I've always strived to do something more creative um, when the children were quite young I took up photography and went off to adult education um, I sort of fell into my job when I was at school because I wanted to leave school and pay for my social life and at the time it was quite important for me to just get whatever job I could sort of get and it happened to be within accounts and over the years, um, I've just, I never qualified as an accountant, but I've got over 30 odd years of experience. And um, I suppose it was just like a safety net. It was my, my job and it paid the bills, it paid for the holidays and everything. But when I started doing photography, I started having the wishes of, you know, I wish I could go off and become a photographer full time. Be, um, but I realised that would actually impact on my family quite a lot, um, especially if I was going to be doing wedding photography, which I have done over the years. And then um, I started journaling at the beginning of last year. And I suppose this was because I had time with the lockdown and everything. And I had quite a few issues surrounding like the menopause that I was trying to get to grip with, things going on in my marriage, which were a little bit stale. Um, but even though we're happily married. Um, so when I was journaling, I knew at the back of my mind, it was actually on a vision board from a few years ago, I wanted to write a book, but the book was always gonna be about my life so I could pass it on as a legacy to my children's children. And then I realized that realistically, it wasn't that much of an interesting story. I hadn't done anything other than go out partying and, um, you know just lived a normal life type thing but I've got I've got an imagination and I always want to escape and I suppose over the years I've been able to go off on girls holidays and things like that so it's been really important for me to have that escape from my busy home life um two of my children have got cerebral palsy so things have been a bit trickier over the years Anyway, so I took my imagination into a, this this book, 
and I started writing and that's where it was and I thought do you know what I'm good at this wow. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't write it initially to be published but the more I was writing it um I thought no it's got to be published it's a a, a lovely easy read very saucy in places um and it's something that I want to do more full time however I'm at I suppose really with my accountancy firm that takes a lot of my hours up so I need to look at ways of actually generating um other income and that's where I've come into the wells, really. It's brilliant. And and your story is just so inspiring because and and so relatable to so many women, because so many women do exactly what you did. They leave school, get a job so they can go partying. You know, yeah. Anything. yeah. <laughs> Somebody pay me. I'm not looking for a career. I just want some money so I can yeah. do what I want. <laughs> and that's what so many of us did, isn't it? Um and then, and then, like you say, you get married, you you have children, and then the job's paying for the for the important things, you know, taking care of the home, the children, and all that sort of thing. And then we get to a point where we just think, I, I need something more. Um, and I think that's where so many wows are. That's why you know they they they're changing their lives because they think I just need something more in my life than than just doing the counts because. I'm running out of time to do something exciting and it's just incredible that you've been writing writing books and and all that sort of thing so what when you sort of come from that background of um I just want a job and then the, the job's paying for everything and all that sort of thing and then you obviously then deviated to have like a bookkeeping a, a clients of your own what made you actually want to be an entrepreneur uh, obviously you want, had this creative side but what made you want to be an entrepreneur um it's funny when you say that because I've never really considered myself as an entrepreneur because I've been a sort of employee for so many years and the my private clients is like a small practice um and it was take, I, I started doing that for friends and family who wanted an accountant and that didn't cost as much as a chartered accountant they just wanted you know someone to do their tax return uh and I you know it's second nature to me and everything so I, I don't really see myself as an entrepreneur I always imagine somebody that's I suppose got their bigger business um rather than my little practice that pays for my holidays and things and uh but it's it's fitted with my life I've been work, able to work from home um since the children were born and I never actually gave up working um I've got good support of my mother-in-law who looked after the children the odd day so I could work uh so I've always worked but I can't see myself ever actually going back into an office and being governed by a nine till five clock um I like the freedom of being able to take time off when I want um as I mentioned I like my holidays so and I, I do take more than my my four weeks annual leave that um I actually get paid for um and I just like the freedom and I like the choices I can make and you know what effort I put in is what I'm going to get out and it's going to be uh, well I suppose since the beginning of last year um or beginning of this year now if I'm realistic now I can really see a future where it's exciting rather than just a sort of mundane nine till five job or you know just to pay the bills working and working and working um yeah so I think that's that's my take on it I think I'm not it's an entrepreneur <laughs> but I suppose I must be <laughs> yeah you know, but, but I think there's a lot of women who relate to that who think I'm only doing something small so when often we as women when we think about entrepreneurs we think about huge people you know like Richard Branson is an entrepreneur and, and yeah. all that sort of thing but actually just the fact that you're doing something for yourself and you're so excited about it that you suddenly think my future isn't just doing accounts accounts for the rest of my life I'm opening doors for myself it's exciting isn't it it's I and I just love seeing this uh, I really just love seeing it um and um, we met actually through networking. We actually met yes. but only only a few months ago, really, through networking um, in Clubhouse, wasn't it? That's it. And yes. 
you kept coming into our, into our room and chatting. So why did you join the the, the Wows? What was it about the Wows? Because obviously you were out there talking to lots of people. So what was it about the Wows that you thought, oh, I'm going to join that? And and what did you think you were going to get out of it? Do you know, I I joined the Wows because I feel that I'm at that age of my life where what I do. Um, I need to surround myself by women of the same age or, you know, um, because realistically I've got four young kids and I know when I've um, had questions and they said, oh, mum, don't do that or don't do this, um, you know, don't go on social media and do this. They've put blocks up and they don't mean to, but they're seeing it through the eyes of teenagers rather than through the eyes of somebody in my age group. So I think somebody recently said, um, surround yourself by people that already think you're awesome. Yeah. And and I think the Wells are the people that will, well, as I think everybody in the group is awesome, they'll sort of return the feelings, really. Mm. Uh, so I think that's it. I think it's really important to recognise that we've done our bit, you know, not all of us have had children or whatever, but we've looked after our children and now it's time for us to actually get away from their shadow and stand out on our own. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? And it's so, uh, this is my thing, you know this is my thing, um, women, women in midlife being empowered to, to become, and and we you can become whatever you want to be, whatever you, you really can. And I, it just floats my boat completely to see and to speak to women like you and see you and how you all support each other. Because um, even though there's lots of training in the Wales and there is lots and lots of training and things, it is that community that it's that safe space where you can say, I haven't got a clue how to do this. I've kicked in this online, I haven't got a clue. Anybody know? And you don't feel stupid. Whereas like you say, when you talk to younger people, they're like, oh, for goodness sake. Um, Cause they know it. Yeah. But we're kind of yeah, but we don't. And it's it's just like you say, um, being around other awesome women of the same age and going through the same things. Yeah, but it's a bit like like fashion as well, isn't it? With when we're compare, comparing the ages, you know, what we like as women of a certain age, the, the teenagers won't wear. So why shouldn't that apply to the sort of business sense? You know, what we can yeah. do. And also we weren't brought up with the technology, were we? That they've been brought up with it. So it's second nature. But however, you know, I love learning. So I love the learning aspect of the world. And um, I mean, even like the, the challenge at the weekend, I know as a promoter, I've got to self-promote myself because I'm, I'm self-published um, and my purse strings will only stretch so far. So, you know, paying someone to do all my marketing, I'm not there yet. It will happen in the future. However, at the weekend, it taught me within the challenge that I don't have to waste so much time or nerves actually pre-recording what I want to say I can go on and do a live and mm -hmm. it was it was so rewarding I felt so excited when I came off it the first time around and I thought oh and I listened to it back and I thought oh you know that didn't sound too bad <laughs> so really yeah good. and I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't come into the Wales uh, amazing it's really amazing. yeah it's just it's just the empowerment you get it's just it's just all that and and your your life was so good and then you did another one oh uh, yes and the next day i did three <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is it get away joe that's enough <laughs> no but no but no i think um it's a slower pace isn't it really as well it's we can go at our own pace which is slightly slower because we've got other things in our lives that we filled our lives up with like you know I'm still juggling with the housework feeding the kids um working my my life is so segmented into times but I always had a missing piece of the jigsaw puzzle that I needed to find and first of all I thought it you know was it within my marriage or was it because I'm not ha happy in myself but since I've gone on this journey, everything's slotted into place. And I've actually found that missing piece of the puzzle, which yeah. is that that creative side of me. So um, I think if 
I was going to sort of say that to anybody is just find that missing piece of the puzzle in your life and go for it. Exactly. And I think that's where that uh, so many women, uh, I always say this, we've been, we've been wife, we've been mum, we've been sister, we've been daughter, we've been chauffeur, we've been cook, we've been bottle, chief bottle washer and shopper and everything else. Um, and then we get to a point in our life and, and working, working, working. And then we get to a point in our life when we think, um, I need to do something for me, me, me. This, hey, I'm here, me, you know, I'm here. The person, you know, Joanna is here. I'm actually here. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's, I think that is one of the things that uh, when you're in the WOWs uh, and, and the WOWs Hub brings is that when, we were all brought up to talk and we all talk and when you start to talk to the rest of the world like we actually physically talk like this on yes. over zoom and 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 it's just nice to have that connection isn't it that everybody's the same everybody's going I'm, I'm finding myself and I'm okay actually you know the, the, this person that was all these things for all these years has now come to the surface and, and she's doing what she wants to do and and actually making a good go of it. And I think that's what we get out of it, isn't it? That community and... Definitely. And the positivity, because I know like we can all come into the group and sort of say that, you know, this is going on, I've got this trouble or I need help in this area. But ultimately, it's such a positive group where we can all blow our own trumpets and we can all sort of um, embrace what we're doing. And because of that, I want to do more, you know, and that's why with a challenge that I recently did, um, it's going to be I'm, I'm going to be more creative not on a great creative accountant mind you but <laughs> I know some people would like that <laughs> but um yeah no I, I and I, I really get that sense of um belonging within the Wales fantastic that's absolutely fantastic so before I let you go um what is your advice to other entrepreneurs to other women who um find themselves Either they've got a business, or they, uh, or that, that isn't making, that's not getting where they want to be, or they, they're like you were a little while ago, thinking, God, there must be more to life than this. This, this can't be it. Surely this can't be it. There's like a missing piece. Um, and so, so what would be your advice to other women who are feeling they that you know they they just need something else because that's where we all are. You know, that's where how we've all yeah. got to this place. I would say, um, I know it's a cliche, but reach for the stars. If you've got an imagination, if you, I, I also say, it's my little saying that um, all your ideas are not um, pipe dreams, they're work in progress. So if you've got something that you want to um, work on that brings fire to your belly or excitement, and it, it just gives you, gets you out of the doldrums or gives you sort of a, a um, passion and you do it do it you know because you don't have to sort of do it all at once you don't have to step away from your nine to five job or whatever job you're working in but like myself I'm gradually bringing more writing into my life or more creativity in my life but still juggling a little with my um, accountancy but I'm going at such a pace where it's gonna um, I suppose tip the scales and the balance of my creative side so that's what I'd say go for it don't actually um look back and think I wish I did look forward and say I can do it and I'm going to and I'm going to yes brilliant Joanna thank you so so much it has been a pleasure a real absolute pleasure to chat with you um, and I'm so excited to see your journey and read your books and all the things that I know are going to come into your life and the online things and all the things that you're going to create. And I, I feel absolutely privileged to be a part of it. So thank you so much. Um, and I won't take up any more of your day. No, but thank you. Thanks for this opportunity. And thank you for such an amazing group. So the feelings are all mirrored. Oh, thank you. All right. Take care. Have a really lovely thank day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.